A massive fire in Taiwan has killed at least 46 people and 41 others are hurt. The blaze in the 13-story building in, Gaos in Kaohsiung uh, broke out early Thursday when people are still sleeping. Uh, the building houses offices and apartments. And now let's turn to China Media Group reporter Sun Yutong. She's at the side. Yutong, hello there. Well, rescue operations have ended, so tell us the latest. Okay, so the rescue work continued for more than 10 hours yesterday until 7 p.m. And the local fire department said yesterday that there were no more other casualties found at the scene, so they called it an end for the rescue work. However, after the rescue work, there are still some other work going on because, as you can see, behind me is the building that caught on fire from the first to the fifth stories, uh, the floors. They were, they were covered with glass walls. That's why it is... Uh, after the wall, the walls were heavily damaged and there were uh, there are glass fragments everywhere on the walls or on the ground. So it's very dangerous not only for passersby but also for investigators at the scene. That's why um, from yesterday early evening there were workers gathered here to fix this and to clean, cleaning, cleaning up the, the fire scene for uh, passersby or for further for the investigation. And speaking of investigation, there was a uh, prosecutor came to the fire scene this morning telling us that um, the prosecution is uh, going on. And yesterday, four people were caught for interrogation, while one of them has already been identified as a possible suspect. However, it still needs more evidence and investigation to make sure that this suspect is the one. And according to the prosecutor, she came to the scene today to make sure or to be more cautious about the further the following prosecution process. And since the, there's already a suspect that's been, uh, a possible suspect has been identified. Mm. So this is what I know at the scene.